no kwasai manero ano mustaresho di Jesu Kristo I greet you all this evening in the name of Jesus Christ I believe you are all happy to be in the house of the Lord tonight. Amen. Amen. The tower of Satan. I have told the devil. I said it's better for me to ask for apology. Eh, because the devil was telling me I was not going to preach because I've got flu. <laughs> they said I would rather ask the children of God to bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> and listen to the devil that I'm going I'm not going to preach because of flu. Amen. Amen. Uh, to I believe you all know that the matter to our pastor passed away um, switch Piri. on Tuesday. And uh, uh, he was buried yesterday on Thursday. Okay. Yeah. 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 And the grace of God, there are some brethren who came from here going to the funeral. Many knew about it. I believe they were praying even if they could not go. But we want to thank the Lord everything went on well. Amen. So may we continue praying for our pastor and his family. Grandchildren. Grandchildren. Amen. This time of bereavement. Amen. Amen. For a short time tonight. Amen. We have the time for the preaching of the word of God. As I have said, I am asking you to be here with me. It came worse when we were at the graveyard. Rain <laughs> so our clothes were drying now when we were in the bus coming. I believe everything is okay. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's ten to our feet. Ephesians chapter 2, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4 to 10. Dima 4, verse 10. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us. Shinomari, Unenyasha, Jinji, Jinji, Nokuda Kurdo, Waka, Kuru, Waka, Tida Narwo. Even when we were dead in sins, he quickened us together with Christ by grace. We are saved. And it raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Akati muta pamwechete na ye, akati garisa kudenga pamwechete na ye, muna Christu Jesu. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Amen. Amen. 
Ishwazira maro pa fazo pa kwenye kwa shukura wao. The Lord is blessing to the Amen. Na matendo shaka. Let's pray again. Ishe tenzi Jesus Christu muri kumsoro kudenga. Tino kutenda i shikare mungu wa zino zema dekwa na ano ishe. Wana wenyu wa ungana, wana kuungana na kusonzi kwa munu ishe Jehova. Makataura mshokore nyumu kati pano ungana ashwa pungu ndopa nenge paini mutumbi. Baba ata unga nila mutumbi urugu jujaropa, mutumbi uwe shokore nyu ishe sama simba. Chiu ya emu taure na Yesu, mugu sangana na Yesu ishe. Shokore nyu uravere nguwa ishe Jehova, baba. Tino zi ya kutu mporofita anta wala kutu mungwene mungwe wedu ya kaenda kuchikoro anu kwa nisa kurivere nguwa ishe Jehova. Asiku duziru wakuno tofa kwa muri ishe sama simba. Baba chuu ya emu tangene su ishe jehova. Mungo tora unga anu pangwechete ishe jehova. Kunyangene mparizi. Baba muti hise mzuboze mcha denga muna kristu jesu. Tozi ya kutu zunu zose zunu kwa nisika ishe. Tarira emu randa wenye amira pambiri pedu ishe. Mporofita anu taura pamsoro pechipo chikuru. Cheku zuhisa paru tivi kuti imi mungo ya mutaure muri mikuwana wenye. Baba tunokumbira kutidae awa muzio unori zika mkati mima wako menyu. Mporofita anu taura kutu wamanda ina rusharu wayo asine rusharu wa muri zi. Ishe babachu ya mbate muranda wenye mungu wa muridza ni maridziru wa mungu da kutabu ite na weshe. Kuti mungu pera kwe sevi siti kwa wase waeva yenda ema wasa wanuti mweda ya nakutua ere. Ishe pa wanga waru kutawara nesu mkati me sevi. Ta kutora sevi si ino nengu wa ino yose tichikumi kiza kwa muri ishe. Pisai pungwa zingambe ya kupa msevi si ino ishe jehova. Muite hanes o awa utos ishe jehova ni mweda yose pa shokorenyu ishe. Baba kutipatino buda muno tingeta batsirika na ishe jehova. Tuno kumikiza sevi za nasi mkati mima wako menyu muzitara ishe jesu kristu. Amen. 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 Tukare edu pasi. You may be seated. Tuno tenda msuwe Wednesday makawa nungu ya kanaka. Amen. I believe you had a good time on Wednesday. Amen. Amen. Tukarezo kutu maka parizu kwa ni mprofita. We had you here in a tape. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Kunyongwana nasi muru kuparizu kwa ni mprofita. Amen. Even tonight the prophet is going to preach. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uti satina shungu satino kunzirai. We have got nothing new that we bring to you. Astri kungo zokora shakatawuru kwa ni mprofita. Amen. We just repeat what the prophet has already said. Hallelujah. Amen. Tunotenda brother Tarushka. We want to thank brother Tarushka. Amen. Amen. Maranda wa maraka tendeka. The servant of the Lord who is faithful. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Eh, my elders edu. To our elders. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, Nesuro patanga taku zoka. Yesterday when we were coming back. Tukweza kutiraske panye zema days at nema fambira. We are confused on days and... You know, I was just discussing with Brother Namo... And I didn't tell Brother Namo... And Brother John... And Brother John... Because we were just sitting close together... And we talked about grace... Amen... Amen... And somehow, you know, I continued with that thought... And this morning... I was just thinking oh, you know, nanas, what we could share with the children of God. Nanas, uh, and uh, it seemed like, you know, that thought, you know, came back. Amen. About grace. Uh, so by God's grace, we want to speak about grace this evening. Amen. The Amen. grace of God. Amen. Amen. Uh, now we read from Ephesians. Now looking at verse 8. Says, For by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Amen. Amen. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus and good works which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Amen. Amen. So the path that you are walking today has before been ordained. Amen. Amen. Because this is what verse 10 says. That we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. 
ayo mwari kare ko akafana kutemera kuti tigofamba maari amen. amen so it means your destiny has already been preplanned zvinoreva kuti magumo ako akafana kurongwa na mwari amen amen that is predestination zvakafana kutemerwa your destination magumo ako or your destiny kana uri kwauri kuenda kwaunogumira amen has been preplanned kwakafana kurongwa amen amen <laughs> yeah this is good izvo zvakanaka izvo this is the God whom we want to worship. Amen. Amen. He is predestinated the way you are going. Amen. Amen. Verse uh, Romans chapter 8. Roma 8. Verse 29 says. Zima 29 inot. For whom he did for no. Nokuti awa akafano ziva. He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son akafano watemera kuti iyo vafanane nomufananidzo womwana koma na wake for whom he did for no he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren nokuti vakaziva kare ndivo vakatemeravo kare kuti vafanane nomufananidzo womwana koma na wake kuti ave dangwe pakati pe hamazhinji now it's strange that some people or Christians don't believe in predestination. But the Bible says, as Bible Those whom he did for no. Because God is omniscient. He knows all things. Amen. So those he for you. He predestinated to be conformed to the image of his son. Amen. Amen. <laughs> eh? Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Amen. Amen. So it's foreknowledge. Amen. Amen. And then predestinate. Amen. So even the way you are sitting this evening. Because we are washing by God. Who knows the end from the beginning. Now the Bible is saying he predestinated. Amen. Amen. Now speaking of grace. Amen. The grace of God. That is what grace means. Amen. Amen. Not of works. Lest any man should boast. Amen. Amen. Now grace means unmerited favor. Unmerited favor. Something that you don't deserve. But you have it. You were given. That is grace. Amen. 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 Jonah chapter 2 verse 9 tells us that two, salvation two. is of the Lord. Two, two, nine. By grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God. Amen. Amen. So it's not what you do. It's not what you can do. But it's what he did. So from start to finish. Salvation is of the Lord. Amen. Amen. The message of grace, the prophet says, we are saved by grace. That through faith. Not by works. Works shows that you have been saved. But what saves you is the grace of God. Grace saves you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Grace is what God does for you. Works is what you do for God. 
Amen. The works that you do, you only do it to show your appreciation of what God did for you. But by grace are you saved. Amen. 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 Grace is what God did for you. Works is what you do only as an appreciation of what God did. Amen. Amen. Let's put it this way. That is saying in Zire. I'm staying in my one room. With my family. Amen. Amen. That's what I am affording at this time. But sometimes I will realize if the Lord don't do anything, because are like like this. Because there are some who depend upon the grace of God. Maybe the grace of God by the grace he went to school. By the grace of God he went to school. If I can go to my work and go to a bank, I will buy a house. As someone who just see this is what it is. Amen. Amen. And then the brother Kadiwa comes. <laughs> Maybe he visits that couple. <laughs> that right. And then uh, one day he says, Brother, uh, <laughs> let's go to Avondale. <laughs> right. They come to a certain yard. And there is a gate. To a certain gate. Right. And then we go to a key. He just hand over the keys to him. Said, Can you unlock the gate? The brother might think they, maybe there is a work to be done here. And then he unlocks the gate. And he's given another bunch of keys. Right. Said, Can you unlock in the house? Right. And he unlocks the house. Right. They will start to get into a big right. lounge. Finished. Well finished. Right. And don't know. I am a keys. Right, right, right. Open all those, those keys. Open all the doors. I'm going to get you. Brother will be following, doing right. And then we have paid those. Do you think I'm going to go down? Who's going to phone or go to the clinic? And I will take care of the After they finished, the brother waits for instructions, maybe to clean the house or do anything. And then we have the brother. And he told brother, "I have bought this house for you and your family." <laughs> Huh? Yeah. <laughs> we just want to bring it home so that everybody can understand what grace is. The brother was not working for brother Kadio. Uh -uh. No. <laughs> but he just knew brother. <laughs> they were knowing one another. <laughs> now, even America is a good thing about brother Kadio and Gavitri. Even if the brother might. Try to think what can I do for brother Kadio? Is there anything that that brother can do which deserves what brother Kadio has done? What this brother can only do? Just say maybe when he visits brother Kadio. Brother, pane repa muda undingu timba timba kana ngu gazira gazira. Is there not a job that I can do for you? Cheka cheka o age. Maybe to trim your age. Kana ngu geza geza motor. Maybe to clean your cars. Amen. Amen. Grace is what God did for us. Works is what we do only as an appreciation of what he did. That is grace. Amen. Romans 9. Romans 9. Verse 11 says, For the children being not yet born, Neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand. Not of works, but of him that calleth. Not of works. Amen. Amen. It was said unto her, that's to Sarah, Sarah. the elder shall save the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, 
But Esau, if I hate it, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. For he said to Moses, I will have mess on whom I will have mess. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. Amen. Amen. <laughs> You know, ndakabata chunich. I quote this thing. Mukaona pastor pawa nengwa chenda ni masiri zano kuna kuramba chunguenda. You see the pastor <laughs> preaching series, series. E, fungwa yawa nengwa watora pamo kuna Ephesians. Maybe they thought that is taken from Ephesians. Pamo even ukwa nengwa kuna Genesis. Maybe even if you read from Genesis. Unengu chungu nenyi yoyo. You just see that thought. Ukwa nengwa kuna Judges. Even if you read from Judges. Unengu chungu nenyi yoyo. You just see that thought. <laughs> If you read from Revelation, you are just seeing the same thing. So whatever you are reading those things, that's whatever you are seeing. Amen. Amen. So by the grace of God, I don't know what's happening. Whenever I'm reading, to them it's not given. But to you it is given. Amen. Amen. This is exactly what Paul is saying. It's not of him that will it. Not of him that run it. But God that showeth mercy. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Predestination. <laughs> Amen. By grace. Are you saved? Through faith. Eh? And that faith. It's a gift Chipo. from God. So a gift is not anything that you have worked for. Amen. Amen. Gifts and callings are without repentance. Amen. So it's a gift of God. Eh? Now, it depends how you want to use that gift. But God gave you the gift. Amen. Amen. Romans 11. Roma 11. We like scriptures. Amen. Amen. Verse 4. Roma 11. But what saith the answer of God to unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men. We have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. This was God you know, speaking to Elijah. Remember in the cave when he was praying, he says, All the people have forsaken you, Lord. Amen. They have gone after Baal. It's only myself who is left. Amen. Amen. And then God says to Elijah, I have reserved to myself 7,000 men. It's him who says, I have reserved to myself. <laughs> Amen. Amen. It's not the people, but it's God who reserved to himself 7,000. That no, no, no. <laughs> You and you and you. No, you cannot go after Baal. I, I will end up so it's God who says, I reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so then, at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Amen. Amen. According to election of grace. And if by grace, verse 6, verse six. and if by grace, then it is no more of works. 
Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then is it no more grace? Otherwise, work is no more work. Otherwise, work is no more work. Amen. Amen. You see what Paul is saying? If by grace, then is it no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. Amen. Amen. And we know it is grace. The grace of God. Amen. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 15. Verse 9. For I am the least of the apostles. Paul is saying. That am not meet to be called an apostle. Because I persecuted the church of God. This is Paul speaking. I am the least of the apostles. I am not even worthy to be called an apostle. Because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God I am what I am. Amen. Amen. By the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I. But the grace of God which was with me. Ah, <laughs> 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 Amen. Amen. Yeah, what Paul is saying? <laughs> I'm not even worthy to be called an apostle. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Because I persecuted the church of <laughs> God. But by the grace of God, <laughs> I am what I am. <laughs> If it was for works, I was supposed to be already charged. Amen. 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 Now, to note him for I want you to catch this. Paul was persecuting Christians. Amen. Amen. As others were persecuted. Amen. Amen. <laughs> But Paul But Paul is speaking by the grace of God, I am what I am. Saying I am laboring for this Lord. I am working more than those who came before me. It's not me. It's not me. It's the grace of God working through me. <laughs> Amen. Hey. Yeah. And then he says in Galatians. Amen. Chapter 1 verse 15 and 16. Chapter 1 verse 15. But when it pleased God. Who separated me from my mother's womb. And called me by his grace. Amen. <laughs> he says. God separated me from my mother's womb. Amen. Eh? So even while he was persecuting the Christians, but when God was looking at him, he was seeing an elect who was not in his place. Amen. Amen. <laughs> because God is not starting to write your names when you repent. No. <laughs> Where there is an outreach out there. Where I received the Lord Jesus Christ. And I became the son of God. Uh -huh. of God. No. <laughs> you just responded that day. Because you were already a son of God or a daughter of God. Amen. Amen. Like that sort of an eagle. Amen. It did not become an eagle. <laughs> We need to have in the chicken bun. But it, it has always been an eagle egg. Amen. Amen. But it was held among chickens. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so was Paul. <laughs> Paul was 
He says, uh, and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the heathen. Immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. Amen. Amen. When it pleased him eh? who separated me from my mother's womb called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the heathen immediately I confess not with flesh and blood when it's revealed to you <laughs> when you realize who you are That we are a son of God. That we are a daughter of God. Amen. Amen. He called you for a purpose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let's go back to the message of grace. Paragraph 58. Some people think because I go join church. Put my name on the book. That's all I have to do. Some people think because I shout that's all I have to do. Others think because I speak with tongues that's all I have to do. Some think because I got power to heal the sick that's all I have to do. It's not. It's the grace of God that saves you. God's amazing grace. I cannot trust in any merits. Some said, well, there is a great man. That man, I've heard him stand up and do this. I've heard him stand up and do that. But Paul says, As Paul not, though I speak with tongues of men and angels, though I have discernment, though I have gifts, amen, to feed, I'll take all my goods to feed the poor, though I have faith to move mountains, though I have knowledge to understand all things, I am nothing till I have love, which is grace. Amen. Amen. God has to do it. You can do all these things and still be lost. It's grace that saves you. God's grace to the human race. Amen. 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 Says to think of him. I was thinking of that grace immediately. After that appeared Friday morning. Just at the break of day. Up there in the field. When I, I sat on a log. And the tears come down in my eyes. Now this was after the prophet created the squirrels the second time. And so he's, he was just, just related to that incident. Amen. He says I was sitting on a log. Tears come down in my eyes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Yeah. Takasian. Yeah. We are different. Yeah, kuna wangu wana wakati simbeja yusu. They are some who are a bit strong. Even if they ponder upon the grace of God. There is something, there's nothing that can happen. Just end on the pondering morning. As the says, as I was pondering upon the grace of God, tears started coming out. Amen. Amen. Like what I was speaking with Brother Tapirenika. Saying if you have never heard this, such an experience, in your own way, you try to imagine what would happen to the prophet to run around a tree praising God. Amen. Amen. But it happens. I've done it many times. Amen. Amen. The prophet, thinking of the grace of God, says, Oh God, your grace has stooped down to save me. Why did you ever save 
Why did you have, I have such pity on a poor, illiterate wretch like me? Say, Makans, what seat, sip on a moon as Nagutziza Katongini? How did you ever come down to a humble little tabernacle? Makaburu Grasay, Patemberi, where peace and the people of low walk of life. Poor have nothing in this world. And still your grace is spread abroad in their hearts. By the Holy Spirit. That you heal our sickness. And save our sins. Save us from our sins. Make us your people. And deal with us. Says all oh God. Oh my. Yeah. That's God's grace. Hmm? Then I thought of David. How that when he took a notion to build a house unto the Lord. Said it's not right for me to live in a house of cedar and the ark of the covenant of my Lord God under sheepskins and a tabernacle. And God told the prophet. Go tell my servant David. I took him from the sheep court. From feeding them few sheep out there of his daddies. And made you a great name like great men in the earth. Amen. Amen. So the prophet was thinking of himself. And then he thought of David. This is what God said of David. I took you from the sheep court. From following the sheep. Made you a great name, like a great man in the earth. I thought of the grace of God. How that He could do that, save to the uttermost, and then would take a poor wretch like myself and give me the opportunity to preach the gospel and to see others saved, see them healed, see homes that's been broke up. Straightened up again. See lives that's been ruined. Made right again. To give me grace. I thought, oh, it's amazing grace. Then come to a degraded low squirrel hunt out in the hoods and form himself in the form of a rainbow. Which means a covenant with a message that he gives me to preach and form it there in a covenant. My, that's the grace of God. When he reached down his hand for me, Amen. I was wretched and done. Hallelujah. Without God or his son, Amen. I was in deep despair. Some wanted to commit um, suicide. Yes. Amen. Amen. But what happened? The grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We've got theologians today. We've got doctors of divinity. We've got great men of the world. They're smart and intelligent and educated. But it takes the simplicity of God to make his word speak out. To show that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and forever. Amen. Amen. It takes the simplicity of believing God. Amen. Amen. Takes a humble heart dedicated to God to bring Jesus Christ to present tense. Amen. Amen. The simplicity of believing God's word. Verily, very I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation but is passed from death unto life. He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life. Eh? 
When you hear God's word and you believe it, brother and sister, the prophet is saying, it's that simple. The simplicity of believing God's word. You hear God's word, you believe it. Christ said, Christ you have passed from death unto life. You will not come to condemnation. Amen. Amen. Because when you go for baptism, Amen. Amen. That's just an outward expression of, of what has happened Jesus deep down in your soul. Yes. Amen. Amen. If Christ said, these signs shall follow them that believe. If they lay hands on the sick, they shall recover. And you take him at his word. You don't doubt it. That's believing his word. Amen. You see it come to pass. You are taking God at his word. And the prophet says, God promised it. God will perform it. Because God watches over his word. To keep it. God watches over his word. To keep it. And to answer prayer. Amen. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me. According to thy word. Amen. Amen. She had. And she believed. Be it unto me. According to thy word. Amen. She never questioned. Amen. Amen. She took God at his word. The angels word. The angels word. Be it unto me. According to thy word. The prophet says that's how miracles are performed. That's how the impossibles are made real. When you take God at his word. And he says you are a sinner this evening. Amen. And you don't understand how to take God at his word. He says, God sent me here. And says, I want you to take my word for it. And see if it doesn't come to pass. That God will bless you. Now what the prophet is saying, take God at his word. And you are a sinner. Maybe you are here for the first time. Maybe you have not heard of these things this way. He says, how do I take God at his word? says take what I am saying Amen what I am saying right now believe what I am saying right now and see if it doesn't come to pass see if God won't bless you if you want to go out and change the person Amen 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 Hallelujah Hallelujah says when he came Amen he did not go to the great theologians. He didn't go to Caiaphas. Amen. The high priest. You know the pastor showed us the other day. When he read uh, this scripture, uh, Luke chapter 3. Amen. You remember that? Those of you who were here. And now in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar. Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea. Herod being tetrarch of Galilee. His brother Philip tetrarch of Euteria. And of the regions of Traconitis. And Elsanias the tetrarch of Annas and Caiaphas being the high priests. The word of God came to John, the son of Zacharias in the wilderness. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The grace of God. Eh? Yes. Amen. You sing with understanding. Hail Mary. Thou that art highly favored among women. The Lord is with thee. You have found grace in the sight of God. Among many virgins. You have found favor with God. Eh? That's grace. 
tawa nirwenya shao tawa nirwenya tawa nirwenya sha tawa wo nirwenya shao tawa wo nirwenya wa wa nirwenya sha wa wa wo nirwenya shao wa wa nirwenya sha my You know, I was kungo imba. You are not just singing. It's a confession. Urugunya to pupura. Amen. Zawaka itirwa nashe. What the Lord has done for you? Grace. Nyasha. Amen. Amen. So the word of the Lord come and join in the wilderness. Shogora Jehovah, raka ina kuna Johanu kurenge. As it is written in the book of Isaiah. Sezo zaka nyoro kwa mbukura Isaiah. The voice of one crying in the wilderness. So the word of the Lord came unto John. In the wilderness. Was the word always come to the prophet? Amen. Amen. The word of the Lord that came to Ezekiel. The word of the Lord that came to Jonah. The word of the Lord that came to Amos. Amen. Amen. So the word made flesh. This time. Came to John. In the water. Amen. Amen. At the beginning of his ministry. Amen. The word made flesh. Amen. Came to John. Amen. In the river Jordan. And on the Ohio River. The word of the Lord. Came to the prophet. In the water. Beginning of his ministry. Amen. Amen. <laughs> he took fishermen. Amen. Men who were poor walked the common life. Amen. That's paragraph 67, sorry, 67. of the message of grace. Hallelujah. And today he revealed himself. He said, follow me, I will make you fishers of men. Show that his grace still reached down even from the Jews to the Gentiles. To call a people for his name in this last day. As we have just gone through it, the prophet says, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Amen. Amen. Amazing grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paragraph 68. He says grace is old. <laughs> Amen. 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 Grace is old. Grace is as old as the world is. Grace was first shown to the human race. When we at the beginning of the human race. When the human race was first created in the God of Eden. On that dark morning. When that little woman that stepped across the separating line. And had gone against God's commandments and entice the husband to do the same thing. Then law was broken. The law must have a penalty or it isn't no law. And the law was the day you eat thereof, that day you shall surely die. Amen. Remember, the first judgment seat was upon the earth. It was in the garden of Eden. And the last judgment seat will be upon the earth. At the end time, the white throne. But when Jehovah came down, I could imagine there wasn't a star to shine. It was so dark. Amen. In that little garden that that once was, Sorry. it was so dark in that light little garden that once was. Because sin had blotted it out. It had taken the light from among them. That was the matter with the churches today. That was the matter with the people today. Sin has so blotted out the light of the living God to show that Christ is still the same yesterday and forever. And he is 
lives to save the uttermost and to, to heal to the lowest sick person. Amen. Amen. The head of the Lord is not shortened that it cannot save. Neither his ear have that it cannot hear. But your sins have separated between and your God. Your iniquities have hid his face that he will not see. Amen. Amen. Oh. Oh. How it was terrible that morning. Darkness hanging in the garden. I'll imagine fog of black sackcloth. I would imagine every leaf never moved. There was no wind stirring. It was darkness and terrible. Because sin had blotted out. There come Jehovah. Down like a row of thunder. Walking through the garden crying. Adam, where art thou? Adam, where it wasn't a cry of judgment, brother, sister. That's why the prophet says grace is old. Amen. Right then, the garden of Eden. When God came down. Amen. To this place that he used to meet his children. And fellowship with them. And he found they were not there. And he started crying. Adam. Adam. Where art thou? Amen. Amen. That's when Adam realized he was naked and had sinned before God. He hid himself and he tried to make himself a religion but he didn't work. God killed some sheep took the skins and showed that something had to die to cover sin. Amen. Amen. So you see, before God came down, when Adam, Adam ate this fruit, right, and his eyes were opened, and then he saw that he was naked. You know, the Bible tells us that they saw the fig leaves. Amen. That was a covering. So throughout the day, you know, they went about their business. They were happy. Because they were saying, at least we made some ourselves a covering. Now we are covered. Amen. Amen. Mm. So this fig leaf religion, or this covering, it only went until Jehovah came down. Amen. Amen. So throughout the day, they felt they were covered. But when God came down, the presence of God came down. That's when they realized. Because this is what the prophet is saying. When God came down, that's when Adam realized that he was naked. Amen. 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 when he realized that his covering that he had made did not work before God. Amen. Amen. God does not want your covering. Your own covering. Your man-made covering. Because it was God. Amen. Who slew a sheep and took the skin and covered them. Amen. Amen. It only shows that you are very far away from God. Amen. Amen. You do the things that you are doing. You don't feel any condemnation. You come to church. You don't feel any condemnation. What it only shows. You are far from him. Amen. Amen. That's what it shows. Doing what you are doing, you are not feeling any condemnation. And you even come to the Lord's table. No condemnation. That's how far you are from God. Amen. 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 
Uchaka kuzikana na chikavari yako. You are still satisfied with your cover. At least ndiko yako church. Yeah, ndiko ngo yako church. Please ndiko spoken word. I'm wet. coming to church. I'm reading spoken word. At least I'm paying my tithes. Na urukuto tizako. You are saying my tithes. Amen. That's religion. China mato. Amen. Amen. That's religion. China mato. But if you're not covering your house, you get there. You can go shanda. This is a man-made covering. It only works until God came. Amen. Amen. Yes. You'll be surprised, brother, sister. Shami sika amanjadi. I don't know why I'm feeling like going through the Bible somebody. The prophet says it's the grace of God. Amen. That would visit poor people like us. Amen. Eh? When the word is preached and the lives are changed. Amen. The sick are healed. Amen. God's blessings come they're coming down. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But still you find people so no Amen. Amen. with their own covering. Hallelujah. You know the brothers. It's a bit different. You know, my sisters. Sisters. Uh, you know, when you have a got a certain nature. Check even my, my you know my tips. You know my discernment. You know, in the discernment. Like, we to respond to the, the presence of God. It's, it's sisters, Men, women. Many people who were fastly responding to the presence of God were sisters. Yes. Yeah. You know, that woman, that lady, that lady. You know, that man. Maybe out of ten, you hear that man. Eh? They quickly respond. Amen. To the spirit of God. And they quickly also respond to the other spirit. Amen. Amen. Even the pastor you hold grudges. Even the pastor under the pastor preaching so hard that we can hold hold a grudge against another sister. I don't believe there are brothers who can have grudges. But my sister, to the sisters, to the sisters, could they have a forever partner? Oh yes, being here with grudges. Masters and two persons out there, what son? Sisters who just pass. Not as a woman to ever treat one another. But brother, no, 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 Grace of God. We cannot, we cannot say you go to hell, but if you continue entertaining that spirit, you end up in hell. Amen. 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 God is blessing to you. The problem and the is not to you only. But it will hinder the leopard of the spirit of God in the church. Amen. Amen. Sisters holding grudges. And that is checking up fiendy fiendy. You know it. Not receiver. Amen. It's the word of God. Shokura Mari. Amen. Amen. Maranda Kono Asungurwa. God, you want to see you delivered. But you got Mea Wangu. But if you say it's my spirit, it's my spirit. Mea Wangu. It's yours. They were also sure. Chakara now. But Shokura Mari Chiparis wa. But when the word of God is Asungurwa and Ude, you say I am liberated. I don't know that spirit. Amen. The simplicity of believing the word. Unyoro Ute na Shoko. Amen. Amen. So they are men made covering wigs until the presence of God came. Amen. You know the story that the prophet relates of Daniel Carey. Amen. A great evangelist. He says not long ago. 
Evangelists passed through the country. Middle East 50s, yes, 50 years ago. Daniel Kerry by name. Daniel Kerry. Amen. He had a dream. Eh? That he died. And he went up to heaven. And when he was there, ah, in the presence of right of God at the gate. Amen. A man came out at the gate and said, Who are you? Says, I'm Daniel Carey. Daniel Carey. I'm an evangelist. Vangeri. I've come to possess my heavenly possession. Said, Just a moment. Mr. Carey, the gatekeeper read and went in. And Mr. Carey, I'm sorry your name is not on my books. Said, Oh, you must be mistaken. Said, I'll look again. Said, No, Mr. Carey. Your name is not here. Says, Oh. Oh. I want thousands of souls to Christ. I stood for Christ here for years. Surely my name is there. I want soul, I want millions of souls to Christ. Thousands, sorry. Said, I'm sorry, sir. But you have to depart from the gate. Said, unless you want to appeal your case, if you want to appeal your case to the great white throne, you may do it. Said, well, he said, I have, I have no other choice. Said, all right. You can appeal before the white throne. That's the law. And said he seemed like he was going for hours just through space. Amen. He said in his dream, after a while he, he got lighter and lighter. He got slower and slower. Until finally he stopped right in the midst of this big light. It was coming. Not from any certain spot. It was just all light. Shining thousands of times brighter than the sun. And when he stopped, he heard a voice speak from this light and say, Daniel Kerry. When you were in the earth, did you break my laws? Did you ever tell a lie? He said. I thought I had been an honest man. But said in the presence of that light, I seen many things I told that wasn't right. So when you are far from that presence, it doesn't matter. It's a small sin. Amen. But in the presence of this great light, I seen many things I told that wasn't right. And brother, sister, that will be the same thing to you. You may seem all right here, but in the presence of that light, say Daniel Kerry. Daniel Kerry, did you ever steal? Said I thought surely I never stole. Just getting ready to say no, Lord. When I started to say it, before me come many little shady deals. In the presence of that light, it wasn't right. Amen. Amen. All of us. Amen. Amen. But speaking of the grace of God, this evening. All of us. Amen. Amen. When Paul says, I die daily. What does he mean? I die daily. You know, first, I say that after I preach, I will be lost. So you are always examining yourself. Amen. Amen. And the key. Is the repentance. Amen. We make mistakes, brothers. As long as we are in this body, we will make mistakes. Amen. 
Amen. But we are far away from that presence. You say, oh. not me. I am clean. But we are depending upon the grace of God. The blood that was shed on Calvary. Little children. Sin not. But if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father. The Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Right. You may be able to over your conscience now, but in the presence of God's great white throne yonder, oh, mercy, brother. I'm satisfied that none of us has even the faintest idea how pure and holy it will be. He said, no, Lord, yes, I've told lies. He said, Daniel Kerry to come it into my place, a man has to be perfect. In your lifetime, Daniel Kerry was you perfect? Daniel Kerry says, No, Lord, I wasn't perfect. And said he was just waiting for that great blast to say, Depart from me. He was getting ready to hear that. Said it seemed like every bone went out of joint. And he couldn't stand any longer. Then said, he heard the sweetest voice that he ever heard in all of his life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sorry, something happened. The devil was not happy. Satan and Akfara. Amen. Amen. But he's a defeated being. Yes, he's a loser man. <laughs> Amen. Amen. It was sweeter than any mother's voice that ever called a child. When he turned. He saw that sweetest face he ever saw. Amen. Amen. The there was no face of a mother could express such love. Says it was the Lord Jesus. And he come and put his arms around me. And said, Father, that's true. Daniel Kerry wasn't perfect on earth. Daniel Kerry did make many mistakes Daniel and things that was wrong. But he said, Father, on earth, Panika. Daniel Kerry stood for me. Daniel Kerry now here in heaven, I'm going to stand for Daniel Kerry. Take all that's against him and put it on my charge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Says, brother, sister, that's the voice that I want to hear. I want to stand for Jesus tonight. That on that day, I know I am imperfect, but I want him to say, Father, William Branham, William Branham. Father, Alton, Alton. Father, Baba. Philip, Philip, Father. Baba. Oh hallelujah. oh, hallelujah. He stood for me on earth. I will stand for him here in heaven. Amen. 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 Joining church will never cover your sin. No dried eyed confession will ever cover your sin. Says it takes sorrow and repentance and the grace of God to cover sin. For the blood of Jesus Christ, the one that God killed at Calvary. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So grace is old. 
The grace of God was promised in the Garden of Eden. And the grace came to Adam and Eve. Nowhere to go. Amen. But the grace made the way. The prophet says, let me say this, my sinner friend. You may be here this morning. A prostitute. You may be here this morning. A woman chaser. You may be here this morning. A drunkard. A gambler. A murderer. You might be here. An impure husband. An impure wife. You might be the vilest of sinner. You Say, I'm past the stage of redemption. No, you are not. Or you wouldn't be in church this morning. You wouldn't be in church this morning. Let no devil tell you this. Grace will make a way for you in this dark hour if you'll just accept it. Adam had to be willing Adam, to, to accept it. it. So do you. He has accepted the but grace of God. God. The grace of God reached over in Noah's time. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When God saw the wickedness of men, that it was great on earth, the imagination of the thoughts of his heart, and because you don't think with your head, you think with your heart. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eh? So every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was on evil continually. It repented him that he put men on earth. It grieved God to his heart. The Lord said, I will destroy all flesh that I created. But but Noah found the grace in the eyes of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the time Mungua. when God was saying, I will destroy all flesh. Amen. Both men and beasts. But Noah found grace Noah. in the eyes of God. Tawa. Nirwenya shawo. Tawa. Nirwenya Amen. Amen. The days of Noah. But the Bible says Noah found grace. And merited favor. He did not deserve it. Yes, sir. Bro says Noah and Noah was just an ordinary man. He and his family. Huh? Yes, sir. Hmm? yes. Oh. Like any other man. Say Munga Munu was Abraham. Abraham. <laughs> no special man uh, came down from the Tower of Babel. <laughs> you know what the prophet is saying? <laughs> came down from the Tower of Babel. Babes come out of an idolater bunch. His father come down in the land of Sinai. Down there to dwell in the city of U or E. And while he was there, God spoke to him by grace. Not because he was different. Not because he was a better man. But by grace. God called him. But the Bible clearly makes that known. Oh Abraham. How Abraham tested God's patience. Eh? After God had appeared to Abraham, Abraham, it was the grace of God. Amen. He was worshipping idols Abraham, together with his family. Amen. Amen. But God appeared unto him Amen. by grace Ninyasha. and called him. Do you know what the Bible the prophet is saying? The Bible makes it clear. It doesn't hide what because God, God told Abraham, you stay in this land. Amen. Don't go out. 
But Abraham, As Abraham and his wife, see them going down to Egypt. Amen. 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 Breaking God's law. So it was God's grace. Right, let's look at uh, paragraph 86. Abraham spoke of us. God took Abraham by grace and saved him. And that's how he takes you by grace. How do we test his patience? Today we are up. Tomorrow we are down. One day we believe. The next day we are wondering. Today we are Methodists. Tomorrow we are Baptists. Today we believe in divine healing. Tomorrow the tummy ache. And we don't know whether we believe or not. But yet in the midst of all that. God wants us to believe it. God wants us to stay put but he saves us anyhow it wasn't if it wasn't the grace of God we would all be God sure God saves us by his grace if it wasn't for his grace we would all be God <laughs> yes amen it says Abraham was supposed to stay in the land. He went down to Egypt. Did exactly what God told him not to do. But yet the grace of God appeared to him down there in Egypt. Kept the Pharaoh the king from taking his wife. That was the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Abraham had said she's my sister. Abraham but God appears to that king. Says we are a dead man. Eh? That woman. Is somebody's wife. Eh? Abraham lied. Abraham but yet the grace of God. Held him. Because he repented. He was willing to. I. He was willing to repent. Amen. And anybody that's willing to repent, the grace of God still goes for you. Amen, brother, sister. Amen. Anybody that's willing to repent, the grace of God still goes for you. The grace of God is searching for you. So that goes for you, backslider, this evening. The grace of God is still looking for you. If you will just repent, God's grace is sufficient. Amen. Amen. So you can never write off one brother. Uh, brother, sister. There will be many surprises. Amen. Amen. The word of God says. You backslider. Just be willing to repent. Because the sacrifice is at the altar. He is the high priest. We start by the feeling of our infirmities. That's why in the Old Testament, the priests who were representing people, they were men who were taken in among men. Who were their own weaknesses. They understood how people were. They understood what, what trials were like. Amen. Temptations. Because they were also tempted. So that they could represent people. If it took angels, everybody was going to be killed. Everybody was going to be killed. But people with their own weaknesses so that they can understand you. That's why pastor Amen. Amen. He's a man with his own weaknesses. He understands if you. If you are willing to repent, come to the pastor. Your own pastor. Tell him your problem. Amen. Amen. 
Because it's God's grace. Not of works. Amen. Amen. Lest any man should boast. That was Abraham. Abraham. Amen. 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 Grace is old. <laughs> said the prophet. Amen. See that Deuteronomy 7. When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it. Amen. From verse 1. And they cast out many nations before thee. The Hittites, the Gigashites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, Hivites, Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. Hmm? Excuse me. Okay. Greater and mightier than thou. When the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them utterly and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them, neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son. Nor his daughter shall thou not take unto thy son. Amen. Amen. Under no circumstances, brother. Under no circumstances, young sister. Amen. 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 For they will turn away thy son from following me. That they may save other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. Are you hearing it? Jehovah of the Old Testament is Jesus of the New Testament. But thus shall he deal with them. Utterly destroy their altars, break down their images, cut down their grooves, and burn their graven images with fire. Eh? For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So it's God who chose them. It's God who chooses you. Amen. Amen. To be a special people unto himself above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because you were more in number than any people for you were the fewest of people. Amen. 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 You were drunkards. Mondi. Mombre. Matsoti. Thieves. Amen. Zifere. Adulterers. Amen. Amen. Yes. Prostitutes. Those are the when Christ Jesus. What Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ said. He came to seek and save that which was lost. Amen. 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 You come for the holy men, you know. Amen. Amen. Christ already knows He knows your weakness. He knows your problem. That's what He came for. The grace of God gave us a redeemer. The law. Amen. The law said you were supposed to die. And the grace of God came for to give us a sacrifice. If you are willing to repent. God says, if you'll keep my commandments, my statutes, my ordinances, I'll do all these things if you'll just do something. Keep my commandments. And love them. Just like a husband taking a wife. And saying, if you'll be a good woman, if you'll take care of the house, if you'll be true to me, if you'll keep my clothes clean, if you'll be if we have children, if you'll be a mother to them, if you do all these things, 
I'll work through my hands bleed to make a living, to make you a living if you'll do it. But then think, what if that woman turns wrong? Lives lazy, <laughs> won't work, <laughs> won't do nothing. Then it takes the grace to keep that family together. Amen. And the grace is sufficient. Amen. Amen. Not like the gospel we heard yesterday. <laughs> Brother, sister. Brother, sister, the Lord you, eh? has found, you have found grace before the Lord. Eh? Great people. Respected. Respected. District what? Superintendent. But brothers, we were surprised. He took his text from uh, right. from Ruth. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Naomi, our first, we are closing, brother. I don't know for our age. He said, Naomi said to you, I am now old. Even if I have a husband, right. I, I, I wait for you to marry you. Go back to your gods and to your houses. Right. To your families. Right. And what is the word? Opa. You know Opa? No bad bye-bye. Opa said goodbye to the mother-in-law. <laughs> you know, is this man serious? <laughs> you know, <laughs> know we know when we read we take the, the positive. <laughs> we take Ruth. Ruth. Eh? She said to Naomi, <laughs> eh? Your God <laughs> is going to be my God. <laughs> will be my God. <laughs> Your people <laughs> will be my people. <laughs> when you die, <laughs> I will die. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But his text, his text, text he took from uh, Opa saying bye bye to his uh, to, to, a, to a mother in law. And the title was the title was learned to say bye bye. Opa did bye bye. You can see that you did bye bye. Me and him. I'm not going to do this. All oh, these brethren were around. <laughs> Learn to say bye bye. And the deeds I would bye bye him, Yoni. She can't see what's my. I said, when a wife, eh? Uno wanna go to Nets when you move me. We put a quarrel with our houses. You have got eh? houses. Because Uno tells out to bye bye. Because you cannot say goodbye to your wife. Uno will say, then Uno tango will be just leave that husband and start a new life. Eh? Van Varaku Tamsika, because I have a good bye bye. People are in trouble because they can't say goodbye. <laughs> Ah, yeah. <laughs> right, paragraph 92 as we are closing. Paragraph 92, Patagufa. Says, Oh God, oh, Mary. it takes the grace of Jehovah to keep his family together. And that's the only way we are Jehovah's family today. Is because of the grace of Jesus Christ. Eh? We would all be gone. But it's His grace. Oh, grace. Oh, Amen. Amen. <laughs> right. Uh, so I know because of time, you know, I'm just avoiding making some comments. Right. I just want to read with you these quotations. <laughs> when uh, paragraph 90, 105. Paragraph 105. When I think of Abraham, of all the mistakes that he made, and Moses and his mistake, but when Abraham's commentary was written, when the divine commentary was written, when Paul wrote Abraham's commentary, 
He never mentioned one thing about Abraham's belief. No, no. Never was even accounted to him. He said Abraham staggered not at the promise of God Abraham. But was strong. Give praise to God. He says, My humble prayer is before the grace of God. That's here this morning. I'm saying that's here this evening. I hope mine is wrote like that. That when that he won't see my mistakes. That when my commentary is written, my obituary, that it won't be read out that I made mistakes and done wrong. But he will only see the things that I tried to do for him. May they just become what does that? He will take the grace of God that I believe in. And that's why I'm solely trusting. For up, upon my, mer my own merits, I could no more go in than none of the rest. But upon the grace of God I am depending Yes, it's grace That I'm depending on In your mistakes, brother, sister You are only depending On his grace and we were saying with the brothers, you know, the grace of God. What the grace is. Look at these two men. Ab and David. Ab and David. Ab kills a man because he wanted his field. And the right day, God pronounces judgment. What would I? You've killed. So we are taking that field. Eh? <coughs> to Ab. Hmm? He was not given space to repent. Ab. Ab. He killed. And he shed blood. A man died. Because Ab wanted his field. His field. Eh? David kills a man. David, I know Raymond. Because he's, he lasted after his wife. Yes. Oh. Amen. Amen. David, I David lasted after somebody's wife. He knew she was married to somebody. Of course, brother says maybe he or I a mistake. Maybe the woman made a mistake. Maybe she forgot to close the curtain when she was bathing. Right? But brother, what is brother? But brother must show that you are a brother. Amen. Amen. You are a man of God. Amen. You don't take advantage of his sisters. Amen. 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 Uh, you are very low. Right. Week, week. <laughs> when these girls appear, but to prove be yourself a man. You know, Father, I wish you Amen. Amen. David kills a man. David, our eh? man. In the Kenya, I think I got to speak to look to Arudam Kazumi. This one was a deeper case because he lasted after somebody's wife. But when the word came to David, through the prophet, ah, how are you, man of God? Mambo. King, <laughs> ah, all is fine, all is well. Yes, yes. Ah, we thank God. We thank God. You know, there's this uh, story. You know, there was a rich man. He, had a, he was rich. You know, he had a lot of sheep. But there was another man. But his neighbor, actually, he had only one sheep. And I was holding it like his own I baby. He could sleep with, with eh? it in his own blankets. Eh? But when that one with many, he received a visitor. 
come with it i want to dress it for my my visit ndo mashukwa ari kuya kuna david those are kuna aba akatonzi imbwa dzichaita sei chana dzaro pana ku it was judgment straight dogs will lick your blood but david ari kutaurwa chirawo to david it's like a, a parable and david he was so angered david akaita kasha afanira kukurara mamunhu ye he said that man must not live yes he must die ano vana ku you mean in my kingdom there is such a man he must die he must, he must die. Die. He, not in my kingdom and the prophet says prophet akati o king oh mambo thou art the man i mi ndi munhu wacho chaye chaye and david does not die david afi in state is the child that dies as mwana ndi anoto so far what's that chi chocho that's god's grace nyaya za mwari David was willing to repent. David akanga achitoda kuti atende uke. Amen. Amen. Right. Uh just give me 5 minutes. Ngoni pa ima minutes 5. All right. Was David said that man will pay with his life. David akata anoto zvipadhara na upenyu hwake chaiti. And the old prophet them eyes narrowed down. Prophet ai mazwa akatarisa bana. He said David surely you will not die. That David house of Fazo. And the people says watch the grace they go to work right quick. Prophet and Tarisa nyasha dzimhanya kuno shanda. The spirit struck the prophet. Moya akarwa prophet. Saved David's life. Ndoka zvaporesa moya wa David. Surely you will not die. Zvirokwazva house of. But the sword will not leave your house. Asi munondo house of him. It started pushed your heart. Kushikira zvacheresa moya wa. For you are that rich man. They wouldn't do move for me here. Oh, it was different then wasn't it? Zvanga zvakabva zvasiyana zvina kuda re. Sovereign grace nyasha dzekuzvitonga is from sovereign god zvinobva kuna mwari the sovereign one amen iye anozvitonga paragraph 130 paragraph 130 sovereign grace from the sovereign one zvinobva kuna uyo anozvitonga amen what can it do zvinoite sovereign grace can do whatever it wants to nyasha dzekuzvitonga dzinongoda listen to this now teresa ikune sovereign grace can only be given by one that sovereign nyasha dzekuzvitonga dzinongopiwa ne uyo ane god is sovereign mwari ane kuzvitonga so he can give sovereign grace anora kupa nyasha dzekuzvitonga therefore being sovereign iye ari munhu anozvitonga grace don't have to ask anybody nyasha dzina vadzopa na utanga don't have to adzibvunza it does what it wants to dzinongoda zvadzana pangoya adzo amen amen eh <laughs> it's not him that will it as this is not him that run it but god that sweet miss it doesn't ask anyone he doesn't consult anyone amen amen i can do this or can i do this shall i do this must i will i it doesn't do it it does it itself grace is sovereign amen Therefore he can save the vilest. He can save the worst. He can save the impurest. Listen to the prophet. He can save the immoralest. He can heal the sickest. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Can take the vilest sinner and make him white as snow. Don't have to ask anybody about it. That was proved at Calvary at the cross. When there was the vilest thief, he deserved to die. God had never come across his mind. He never thought nothing of it. No time to go to church. But there on the cross. Through those bloody lips. In between the groans. There come a sound. Lord be merciful to me. And there come another back through blood. Tears agony. Misozi akigomera hold nyasha dzibata and said akati today nasa thou be with me in paradise ni mu paradise grace did that nyasha ndo dzakazvita how could that thief help himself mbavai aikwanisa kuzvibatsira sei not of works as is the mabas let's end should post kuti vanhu vare kuzvi but it's grace ni nyasha it's grace 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 nyasha nyasha hallelujah abe god's grace is like this 
think I'll quickly run through this. Let me tell you a story in ending. God's grace is like this. One time there was a mighty king. This mighty king had a son. An only son. And one day he made a kill with that boy. And through the kingdom went the delegates hunting for the murderer. They finally found that murderer. When they found him, they brought him back to, and imprisoned him. And when they did, a trial was set and a sentence was made. It was a terrible thing. He had met the king's son and he knew what was going to come to him. They put him into the inner cells, locked the doors. Amen. We saw some of the cells for the condemned. I went right he was found guilty and proven guilty. Sentence was made. He was to be executed. Amen. Under horrible capital punishment. He was to be killed by inches until his mortal life was gone. Sentenced by the judge, he was to die. He begged and cried. He begged and cried. Though I am guilty, though I am guilty, I'm sorry that I did that. I wish I had never done it. I'm sorry that I did it. In a moment later, I did it. I didn't mean to. One, one day the king went down to the place to visit the boy to, tell him, to talk to him and tell him about killing his own son. The only son he had. He was saying, I just show me killing my only, my only son. The king went there to talk about it, that issue. Eh? He had killed the boy. I'm going to talk to him. And when he went down there, he looked back in that cage. Like a caged in animal. He saw his little skinny. Right? He saw his skinny body laying back there. Crying. His face all sunk in. His jaws sunk back. His eyes way back. Matter was all in his eyes. His mouth was all white and over. No water. He was thirsty. Laying back there on his face crying. The king said, stand up. He came up to him. Looked at him. Why did you kill my son? What did my son do to you? What did he do to merit such a death as you killed him? Stepping him to death with a spear. And the boy said, Nothing, my lord. Not one thing. Just my own impudence. Just my own ways. I killed him because I was jealous of him. I got in a temper fit and killed him. Now I'm. Now I am to die under your justice, sir. I realize that and I deserve to do it. The only thing I am crying for that I am just sorry that I killed that royal man like that. Killed him without a cause. The king turned on his heels and walked out. Went out to the desk. Said he destroy all the records. You know, put you them in the sea of forgetfulness. Destroy all the records. Wash him up. Clean him up. 
I will send down a rope for him. After a while, a great big limousine drove up to the door. When it did, a carpet was spread out to the prison cell. The king stood at the end of the limousine. Said, come. My son, and ride home with me, with me to the palace. Put the king's robe around his shoulder. Said, From henceforth, you are my son. Because he had pity. That's grace. That was me. That was you. We killed the Son of God with our sins. We were alien. We were dirty, filthy, laying in the cells of the world. God washed us by the blood of His Son. Cleansed us. Put on the robe of the Holy Spirit. And now in the great chariot of God. We'll back up to the door someday. And we'll go home to live with him. All records are destroyed. We can't be judged no more. Bend them up. He put them in the sea of forgetfulness. Of forgiveness. No wonder we can sing as we stand up on our feet. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that served the rest like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I am a son and a daughter of God. Hallelujah. The grace of God. Amen. Grace is what God did for me. Works. Is what I do. Always an appreciation of what he did for me. Amen. Amen. No, the prophet said it. Amen. When he saved me. If I want. I can stay home. Hunting and coming back. I I stay home eating. I'm still saved. Amen. Because I am not saved because of what of what I do. It was grace that saved me. His own grace. So all I'm trying to do, you're testifying. Amen. The things that you are doing, the preaching, all that you are only doing it as an appreciation. But what you have done is grace. You can do nothing, brother. That deserves salvation. Amen. This is why we also sing. I love him. I love him. Because he first loved me. And pages my salvation. So all we are doing, brother, sister, we are doing it only as an appreciation. We are only doing it just to thank him. Say thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amazing grace. Hallelujah.